Uh, first of all, I want to agree with the previous deputy. The burden um, was a, a, a total disaster when the scientists were looking after it. Then when the farmers went back and showed how you should farm, um, then they started bringing it out everywhere around Europe, the great thing it was. Now the farmer and the burden gets acres. My young fellow gets acres, even though he's not I in the burden. I guess so actually. let them not be shouting not in now. The burden. First of all, um, I don't know where this is going, because the people out there looking this evening, I'd say are more confused at the moment. Minister, you've come out with your statement um, supporting this. Billy Kelleher, your MEP, has opposed it. The EPP are after pulling out of it today. They have said it's, far, it's, too, it's gone too far. Our Tisha 19 hours ago stated very clearly that it is a way too far what's being proposed. And you talk about negotiating in Europe. My understanding is that Star O'Brien, our housing section, is doing it. Uh, there was a vote last week in agriculture, it voted against it. There was a vote in fisheries, it voted against it. And after that, my understanding in Europe, and I'm not an expert in it, but my understanding is that that's an opinion, but it's going to be environment. And thankfully, and thanks to the Swedish, and thanks to the Dutch, thanks to the Polish, but don't thank the Irish representatives out there, or yourself indeed. It is them that has pushed back against this, and hopefully it is now dead in the water. And you talk about that it isn't legally binding for people. Tell me something that is brought into a country that doesn't end up legally binding. What has the Habitats Directive done? It has put legally binding stuff on everyone's land that's designated around this country. There are 38 things that you have to comply with under legally binding stuff. So don't go telling people out there tonight that they don't, that they don't have, that they, it, it wouldn't be legally binding. And if you read it, read the document and go to Article 12.4, where it says any subsidies given by a member, the member state or by the EU that may have a negative effect on that site, must, it has to be reported by the government of the EU. What will happen? They'll be withdrawn. So if you have sheep above a mountain, or if you have cattle within a peaty ground that's ploughing it up because it's rewetted, you will end up that that can be withdrawn. And then tell the people out there, have a look at Article 4.2, where they talk about rewilding, where you're from, in the mountains, and, and, and the mountains in the west of Ireland. And bear in mind that it's one third of the country that's going to be most affected. Go down to, to Kerry, West Cork, come up along the west coast and go out to the Midlands. That's where you're going to be caught with a lot of this. And the, there is, at the moment, you talk about that we can achieve this with the state land. The state land, Bordnamona, can achieve a certain amount in 2030. But under the Article 9.4, and it's highlighted there, there is legally binding targets under drained agricultural peatland. No one can deny that. This isn't scaremongering. When I brought this up, I broke this story last July. We were told, oh, geez, that's not going to happen. More people read it and got involved in it. And if it's scaremongering, why is the Tisha going to get it now? Why is the EPP going to get it? Why are everyone saying that it's the, the opposition? I see some parties in this house, they'll vote one way in Europe and they'll come in here then and say a different thing, which is totally, I, can't, I cannot understand it. Second of all, there was no impact assessment done on these proposals, which, was, which, which everyone looked for. And thirdly, no one is talking at all about, or they don't understand the terrain. There are houses built in rural Ireland, in those areas where peaty soil is. Thank you, Deputy. There are 100% of some people's farms. So if you want to do it in the state, do it in the state part of ground. Make sure you do not have a negative effect, and you should be ashamed of yourselves that you haven't Thank forced Board Namona to give now. a letter to farmers Please. or do a scientific research before they do it. Because in fairness to the national parks, when they do it, and we were involved with them, working with them, in fairness they talked and worked with farmers. But Bournemouth seems to, with the money in their arse pocket now, that Europe is throwing at them and the government is throwing at them, Deputy, that they can bully on top please. of everyone. Well, that won't happen, nor what you're proposing, and hopefully it will be dead in the water in Europe before you even get the chance to look at it. Now, we have a